Hi, Jennifer, Kate, Terry, and Emily. It's Jeff Olson here. Gonna try to do a video um, about photos. So here I'm on the uh, school part of the website. And um, if you upload a, a new image, um, you can um, edit it. If an image is already part of a page, it's gonna be here and we can't really edit it once it's part of a page. But these here are unattached, meaning um, they're not on a page anywhere. So um, if I go here and edit this image, I can go to Edit Image. And I think you probably know this. Um, you can rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise. You can flip it vertically or horizontally. Um, here's, an, here's an undo button. That's redo. And then uh, I can also crop it. So let's say I just wanted to um, get this student in the middle. If I just click and drag my mouse and then unclick this crop becomes available and I click that you know now I've cropped that part of the image and I can save it um, although I'm going to undo that you can also scale it here if you wanted to um, make the image smaller so right now it's 530 pixels by 463 if I go and it'll it'll keep this ratio. So if I go, uh, let's do it in half. What would that be? Uh, 265. Um, and then I click scale. Let's see here. Oops. Actually, let me get out of here first. So I'm I'm canceling everything I did. Okay, let me go back and edit image again. So let's try this scaling. So that scaled it to be a smaller image, which can be useful for uh, real estate screen space. I'm going to cancel out of there again. Um, let's see. The aspect ratio, uh, once I crop it, this might be getting a little technical, but I can, uh, let's say I crop it like in a rectangle, like this. I think I can say I want my aspect ratio to be one to one. And then it makes sure that the height and the width are the same. Or, you know, if I want it to be like three to two. Um, it keeps that aspect ratio um, the same when I'm cropping an image. Um, probably the other one you guys were interested in uh, is if we go to the main part of the site, this, uh, these images that, that scroll through. Um, kind of weird, but they're actually posts. So if we go back into the site, if I go to the posts page, the way Sean set it up is any post that's published. So if you see here, slide one, slide two, slide three. If I go on and edit slide one, there's no text here, but there's a featured image. And so these featured images on each of these posts is what and remember the published posts so if I go to slide 2 it, this text won't show it's just gonna show the uh, featured image and so you know let's say you wanted to change what's scrolling through on the main site you know, you can go to each of these post pages and just 
change this featured image you can remove it and add a new one and let's say you um, let's say you wanted to like have you know the, there are three it's scrolling through here let's say you wanted to do four you can add a new post and you know I just recommend calling it slide four and then you can go down here to the uh, set featured image and we'll do this one set featured image I'll publish it and then now let's go back and look at the main site so that little apple I posted um, let's see if it scrolls back around and grabs the apple again I'll delete it since this is the lab whoops okay so there so it's that's one two and then three and four so I'm gonna go on and uh, just delete that so we're not uh, so we don't see it trash okay so now if we go back to the site it should just be these three images that it scrolls through so that's kind of a you know not obvious implementation of of how that scrolling thing would work um, but I think you guys are comfortable with like the media you know adding a new image where you just uh, you can drag and drop in here or select fr files right from your computer um, and then once you know you're not I think I was uh, monkeying around here with uh, so I created a Jeff test page and um, I was just adding adding media so uh, you can always if you want create a page and as long as there's no link on the website or you know it's not off of a menu somebody would have to know this link to type in to get to it um, so I can always like kind of create a a weird name that nobody would know to type and and practice stuff I want to do but so you know let's say I wanted to add media um, go to images and go back to this Apple insert in the page and then I can always um, give it a caption. That's an off image. And so that's my caption of the image right here. Um, so I hope that um, I, th I hope that helped with some of the photo type functionality you can use. And uh, I'm going to continue with a couple other videos after this one. Thanks.